Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, this newest MIUI ice cream sandwich build for the Kindle Fire. I know I haven't really updated you guys on the Kindle Fire in a long time, uh, but this is the ROM that I flashed today. Uh, so far it is the most complete uh, ROM for the Kindle Fire that I have been able to find. There's not a ton out there, uh, but this one works very well. So I'm going to show you guys this one and also provide you with a download link in case you want to flash it, and I'll show you how to flash it as well. So you do need to be rooted. You need to have Twerp installed. Uh, you can head to my channel to find videos on how to do all of the above. So we'll go ahead and jump into this. I don't have much battery left. I've been running this all day long uh, because I, I like it a lot. So the first thing that's really cool, it has the ice cream sandwich notifications here and uh, the toggles as well right there in, in the menu. It's got Gtalk there. It has the recents here as well, uh, which is really cool. If we go back home, you see that it has the folders. It has the ice cream sandwich analog clock. There, let me see if I can try to get this in a place where you guys can see it well. Um, Google Talks included, several other things. Uh, I haven't loaded up all my applications, but you see it has the folders here. It has the, the ice cream sandwich launcher is there uh, where you can add your screens, you can add your widgets. I'm sorry, this is the my UI launcher um, that you guys are familiar with. You can add your widgets real easily, like so, and you can remove those real easily, like so. Sorry guys, I pressed the button. Um, real easy to, to add widgets and take them away here. You can also add and remove screens very easily, like so. Uh, the only thing that this does not have, uh, like I may have already said, is the theming capabilities of MIUI. It does have the uh, all the MIUI applications. So if I get back to my home screen and I go where I've put all the extra applications here, uh, you do have the theming app, but it's not working correctly because there's no themes for this size screen just yet. You do have the ice cream sandwich music. I don't have any music loaded, but there it is. And... Uh, you have Movie Studio, Sound Recorder, uh, you do have the Calculator and the My UI Clock. And everything here is, like I said, on the, um, everything's iPhone-ish styled here with ice cream sandwich themes and elements here as well. And I have all my Google apps here, Market. It's just the regular market. The camera app is there, but obviously it doesn't work since there's no camera here. Um, so guys, this is Ice Cream Sandwich. It's running really, really well on the Kindle Fire. Probably running a whole lot faster than the Kindle Fire OS, uh, as far as I can tell. Everything seems to be running nice and smooth here. I really like this notification bar. Uh, that reminds me a whole lot of my Transformer Prime. Uh, but this looks really sleek and it makes your, in, in my opinion, it makes this Kindle Fire a whole lot more useful. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a, a dedicated apps button here to bring up an apps drawer. But you can do like I've done here and put all your miscellaneous applications in a folder. And then of course you could drag and drop that to your navigation bar. Like so. And then you'd have a dedicated apps drawer. So that would work. Um, all kinds of things that you can add here to the screen. If we double tap here, sorry, if we long press here, that also brings you to the edit page for your widgets. And that's pretty much it here for Ice Cream Sandwich MIUI for the Kindle Fire. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So you need to head to the link in the description and download the ROM. Go ahead and put that on your SD card. We'll shut it down first, and then we'll boot into uh, Twerp Recovery. So hold the power until the flame comes up, and then hold the power until it turns orange. And now Twerp should boot up. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is make a backup of your current operating system so that you can easily get back to that if you don't like this ROM. But like I said before, it's, it's the most functional of all the ROMs that I have seen so far. So to make a backup here... And we'll have to hurry. I'm only at 13% on my battery. You would just back up now. And that'll save a backup that you could later restore just by hitting restore and choosing it. 
Uh, but the first thing you want to do here to install the new ROM is wipe, factory reset, select that. I'm going to go back because I've already done it. Then you would wipe cache, wipe cache, then you'll wipe Dalvik cache, wipe that. Then you'll go back again and you'll hit install and go to your download folder. That's where it should be. And you're looking for MIUS Otter 4.0.3. 4.0.3 is, you know, the Android build for ice cream sandwich. You would just click flash. Give that a few minutes to run. It's going to give you some errors there, a uh, couple of errors, but disregard that it did properly install. And as soon as that's all finished, you'll reboot system. And if you did everything correctly, you should get the MIUI boot animation. So there still has been some development on the CM9 front. Uh, somebody had a working CM9 build. It was just a, a straight up Kang of CM9 that was working properly. And that had kind of a kind of a difficult way to install it. That's why I haven't done a video yet. I, I try to keep things simple for you guys. I know that you guys are capable. And hopefully before the end of the week, I can get a video up of CM9 for the Kindle Fire. Uh, but that is MIUI Ice Cream Sandwich for the Kindle Fire. Guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 of 3. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you in any way. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.